What's up everybody? Welcome back to Komodo Vlogs. In just a few moments, I'm going to be heading out on a little solo adventure to a women's car meet. So it's all women that have like super cool cars. There should be a couple bikes there. It's going to be really fun. It's about a 40 minute ride, trying to avoid as much highway as possible. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm a little nervous, but looking forward to it. Um, yeah, and I'll film again when I get there. Okay, I'm on here. I'm excited. It's going to be good. I love you. So right now in my head, I'm pretty nervous, but nervous and the excitement, your body interprets the same way. So I just have to keep reminding myself that I'm excited to be out here. I'm blessed to be out here, but keeping my head on that swivel and making sure I'm, you know, staying focused. But also in my head, I'm telling myself like the next 30 minutes, I can do anything. I, like in, you can do so many things in 30 minutes and don't let it be a like mental block situation when it just doesn't need to be. And at every single one of these intersections, I am making myself as visible as I can, as well as checking behind me for any potential hazards. Oh, there's Beth texting me. I'm meeting Beth at this women's car show and I'm very excited about it. Yeah, see, I can do anything for 13 miles in 26 minutes. I'm gonna get sunburned on my knees. That's a hell of a stop. Not bad though. Not a lot of traffic today. I should have gone. The wind is crazy right now. Oh my gosh. You want to talk about a breeze? <laughs> it feels so good though. So in the back of the park, she said, go until you find a woman with a wrapped car and tell her that I'm here to spectate because we're not winning any awards on the 300. It'd be kind of funny if I won best exhaust though. <laughs> Say what? Do I have the right address? Hmm. Huh. So how does one get around? to cheesecake no we're not going to cheesecake we're going to green turtle <laughs> and i'm very excited i love green turtle but i couldn't get my phone on my quad lock and this is becoming the bane of my existence is i'm not able to put it on oh, okay let me not around keep shifting into 
the neutral because my feet position is wrong and I'm trying to break the habit of where my feet are, but I need to go to the parking lot and do it, not when I'm actually riding. But my feet position is wrong on my pegs and it's causing me to not shift properly, uh, which is a pretty big issue. Anyways, yeah, I really wish that I could figure out how to put my quad lock on and that was an instance of me getting ready to leave a location and getting anxious about it and not taking the time to put my phone on and I'm regretting it because I am directionally challenged and I like to see my directions. I am hearing them in my car though, but the volume is like not great over the sound of my bike. I need to not get anxious when I'm leaving places and that's something I'm chronic about though. I do it in my car too, like rather than finding a good parking spot or parking correctly, I'll just pull into a spot. But if I just breathe, I'd be fine. That dude was barking at me. <laughs> I thought I could hear a dog barking. I'm like, what the f I could. I could in fact hear a dog barking. The other bad thing is that I don't know the speed limit. I haven't seen a speed limit sign in a while. So I'm just kind of trusting Miss Beth here to guide me through. Oh, 40. There we go. Sick. This has been like the nicest day of riding I've had so far though. Like, just got to literally go to a cool car show and now I'm just heading to get dinner and I don't know where I am and I'm just riding and chilling and vibing and I still get nervous before I get on my bike but once I'm riding I'm fine and I I feel calm which is amazing I really hope my GoPro doesn't randomly die I mean I have the other battery but a squirrel a dead squirrel I think my favorite thing about riding so far is waving to other riders. <laughs> I get a kick out of it every time. It's just like the coolest shit ever. All right, we just had a really lovely dinner with Beth and Drew and Birch met us at Green Turtle as a surprise. And now we're about to ride home with our first Rebel and Rebel ride together. And I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so weird to look at my passenger seat. <laughs> And I'm not on it. <laughs> so crazy. I love you, by the way. I love you. Good job looking over your shoulder instead of just following me. Thank you. This is so cool. I got one pelted me. Yeah, I don't think it's in my eye, but for a second I was like, that is still in my eye. Oh, there he goes. Just fell out of my helmet. Okay, thank you. Visor down. It's hard though, because it is kind of dark. All right. Ride the wind. 
foggiest part of the way home in the dark. Which, if you know Rebels, is not great because their headlights don't uh, turn with you and they point one direction and one direction only. Back over my favorite bridge. And oh, that's what I was telling you guys about. Look at it with the lights on. <laughs> That was roughly 37 miles I put on my bike today. I know I hit 700 at some point, so maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, what a crazy freaking day. That was so fun. That's everything I've ever wanted out of owning and riding a motorcycle. Just to be able to go out like by myself and have an incredible day and explore and be places I've never been before and then come home. I mean, it's just what an insane. Saturday. Very thankful. Just doing a little outro. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm on a hill. <laughs> Thank you. I'm crushing, I'm crushing my bacon ranch pasta right now. That's what I'm crushing with the tank bag all expanded. Actually, can you take this so I can park? Thank you. <laughs> all right, kind of dark. We're being lit by a street light here. Thank you. I left home five hours ago. <laughs> I have literally been riding all day. What an insane trip. That was so fun. Thank you to Beth. Led me different places when I didn't know where it was. And she was like, I followed her in her car and it was amazing. And it was just an insane day. So yeah, um, ride home was a little bit rough. Um, definitely obviously tired from the day, uh, but I was being pelted by bugs. Um, my visor is tinted. So I need to invest in a clear one because apparently they don't make the transition visor for my helmet and I love my helmet too much to get a new one. So anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like, leave me a comment and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.